Here we have the bat thermometer. Uh, I guess it's about 40 degrees, 41, let's see, uh, 42 or 3 degrees. Okay, the bath thermometer works on the principle of saturated liquid and gas mixture. Look down here and we see the bulb. That bulb is filled with a mixture, a saturated mix of some sort of material, some sort of substance that will increase its pressure as the temperature increases and decrease the uh, pressure as the temperature decreases. Okay, I'm going to take this thing off. We're going to take a look at it on the bench and see how this silly thing works. Now I'm going to take this uh, temperature gauge apart and let's see, is it really a temperature gauge or is it a pressure gauge? Okay. Okay, I've taken this thing kind of apart and taken the cover off, you know, this little dial off, and here's the uh, pointer. This is a Borden tube. This is used in refrigeration gauges too. This is not a temperature sensor. It's a pressure sensor. It senses the pressure in this tubing here and the bulb. There you can see the bulb. That's filled with a mixture of liquid and gas in a saturated mix. So this is not a thermometer, it's a pressure gauge. As the pressure increases, the Borden tube tends to straighten out and it changes the dial. That's what these types of temperature sensors are. Most newer ones are electronic and, and they work in a different way. But this is the old style and it's a good explanation of the temperature pressure mix. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a torch to kind of gently increase the temperature of the bulb. Now you can see that start to move up. Let's get a little closer on that. So as I increase the temperature of the bulb, the dial goes up. That's as simple as you can get, and it's a great demonstration of the temperature pressure relationship of the saturated mix. That's what this whole thing's all about. That's what the old style thermometers, what they used. A, a lot of them, not all of them. Okay, this is the way that you can use a saturated mix in an enclosed tube to tell what the temperature is in a structure or, you know, any kind of medium at all you happen to be using. Okay, that's it on that one.